Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install Windows 11 on your computer. We're going to take a look at how to install Windows 11 with the help of a bootable USB. Also, we are going to take a look at how to install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. So a lot of videos on YouTube already cover how to upgrade from an older version of Windows, let's say Windows 8 or 10 to Windows 11. But let's say you don't have an operating system on your computer, let's say you built a new PC. So this is basically how you can use the bootable USB of Windows 11 to install it on your machine. So we need another computer which has an older version of Windows, let's say a laptop. And then you want to on that laptop open a web browser and search for download Windows 11. And then you want to click on this link which I'll link in the description. And we have a couple of options here, basically three options. We want to ignore all of them except the middle one which is create Windows 11 installation media come down and go ahead and click on download now. So this is going to download a small file which is known as the media creation tool which is here in my downloads folder. Now before I open this tool, I want to insert a USB device of minimum 8 GB space. Uh, make sure you want to back up all of the data on that USB device because that will be subsequently wiped off. Once you have taken care of that, you want to click on, double click on this uh, media creation tool and it will ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. And now uh, it's getting a few things ready. Now we'll be asked to accept the licenses. So click on next, uh, accept the license. And now uh, it's going to ask basically how, uh, for what kind of configuration do we want? So we are gonna select the language, the edition, all of that stuff. Uh, click on next. And then the first option, which is USB flash drive. Make sure that is selected and click on next. Now I have a USB device here, uh, which is HP, but I've already done this process on a SanDisk USB device. So when you have your USB device connected uh, and you are sure that all of the data has been backed off, just go ahead and click on next. And uh, since I've already done this, I'm not going to do it here on camera. Uh, and once uh, it will, it's going to take around uh, half an hour, I think. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click this media, uh, close this media creation tool. And you want to take out the USB device and plug it into the computer on which you want to install Windows 11. So once you've made your bootable USB, you want to plug your USB in the machine on which you want to install Windows 11 and then power on that machine and press one of the function keys shown on the screen that matches with your laptop manufacturer or your desktop motherboard manufacturer and enter the boot menu. So in the case of Gigabyte, this is going to be F12 and over here I have two options as you can see U UAFE SanDisk Partition 1 and Enter Setup. So Enter Setup is basically entering my BIOS. And this is the first option. Like I said, I'm using a SanDisk USB drive. So you just have to locate uh, your USB device brand and then either click on it or press enter. So the couple of first steps that we'll be doing here will be similar to that of the Windows 10 installation. So we'll just wait for this to load. So over here, we have to basically just select the language of installation. Let me just make sure this is a little more visible and you can just go ahead and click on next and click on install now and over here it asks to activate windows so this is something that we can always do later on so i'm just going to skip this uh, step here so I'll click on i don't have a product key and now you can just go ahead and select the version of windows 11 that you want to install depending on your product key so i'm just going with windows 11 home click on next and then uh, if your computer uh, is uh, if your computer hardware is basically uh, suitable for windows 11 you should see the license agreement so you can just go ahead and click on i accept and if your hardware is not compatible then you will get a message that you can't install windows 11 on this particular system so you're just going to go ahead and click on next and what i'm going to be doing is uh, clicking on custom install the reason is there is no operating system on let's give me a second why is this going crazy yeah so i'm going to click on custom install because uh, upgrade uh, is just obsolete uh, in our case use case because we don't have any operating system installed on this machine so we're just going to click on custom and over here you can see the drives that i have installed on this computer so the 931 which is drive zero this is basically a hard disk one terabyte hard disk and drive one is basically an nvme ssd so i was able to distinguish both of these uh, drives by just looking at the size. So my SSD is 500 gigabytes and my hard disk is one terabyte. So I want to install on the SSD because obviously that is where my C drive will be. And later on we'll create the D drive on our hard disk. So let's go ahead and click on next. Uh, and this is basically uh, pretty much what we do on Windows 10 as well. 
So this is going to take some time. I'll be back when this is done. So this is it. Now we have to just go ahead and restart now. And during this period, now actually Windows 10, uh, Windows 11 has been installed on our computer. We can remove the USB device or keep it plugged in. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so until we reach the setup, like I said, Windows 11 has been installed, but we need to set some things up. So until we reach the setup, the computer might restart uh, multiple times. So we'll just wait for the setup to launch. So it's restarting again, as you saw, just restarted. And now the setup should be available for us to set the computer up. There it is. So that's the setup. So let me just uh, quickly align the camera correctly. And now uh, this is pretty basic questions that we have to answer. So is this uh, right country or region for you? So this is important because uh, with respect to time zone, so uh, I'm in India, for example, let me quickly go, to set up your yeah. using so click on yes. Uh, so if you don't set the correct uh, time zone, then your time will be displayed wrong. So now you want to select your keyboard layout, so I'm using the US keyboard, so go ahead and click on next. And do we want to add a second keyboard, so I'm just going to skip, if you're using another keyboard, you can go ahead and do that. Now it's mandatory here to connect to an internet connection. So I'm just going to quickly connect to my Wi-Fi. You should do the same with yours. And once this is connected, don't worry about the Microsoft account. I will come to that. Just connect to internet and go ahead and click on next. And now this is going to take some time and check for updates. Now, the thing with Windows 11 is that it uh, installs the update once you have connected to internet uh, while we are setting the computer up. So this uh, accounts for our display driver. So right now this looks a bit weird, a bit fat. That is the reason because uh, this is basically 768p on a 1080p monitor. So once the uh, display driver is installed, then we'll have the correct resolution. There we go. So now we have to uh, assi basically assign a name to our device. I'm just going to name my device test because this is a test bench and uh, you can name your device anything. Now, this is not your username to be clear. This is something that is going to help in networks. So on any particular network, if your device has to be found and identified, this is the name it will be identified with. So this is not your username. Uh, I think that is, uh, I'm clear with that now. So you can go ahead and click on next and this is going to again uh, restart and get the installer, get the setup back. All right, so there we are. So if you would like to connect your Microsoft account, uh, really helps if you are using a lot of Microsoft's products such as the Office Suite, um, OneDrive and stuff like that, uh, which is also now probably in the Office Suite. Uh, it really helps if you can sign in, but let's say you do not want to sign in to a Microsoft account, you want a local account, then what do you do? So a lot of people suggest you should turn off your internet and stuff like that. Well, there's a workaround that I'm going to show you right now. And let me just, see why my camera is going bonkers, right, it's back. So all you have to do is basically type in a random email ID. So for example, abcd at gmail.com. Now one thing I'd like to say is that I'm not sure how long this will work, uh, but at, at least at now, uh, at, the, at the point of recording this video, this works. So you can go ahead and click on abcd at gmail.com. Obviously something like this does not exist. And we can just type in a random password, which will be wrong, obviously. I'm going to click on sign in. And obviously, since I typed a wrong password and a wrong email ID, it says, oops, something went wrong. So I'm just going to click on next. And now it's going to ask me who's going to use this device. So this is basically how you get a local account on Windows 11. So I'm just going to type in my name, let's say Demon Killer. And we can go ahead and type in password. And then the repetitive uh, stuff of this security question. So I'm just going to type in test. And we have to answer just a random question again. So this is something you should set up according to the password you chose, or you can just write random stuff because uh, personally, I've never uh, made good use of this thing. So you just need your local account and then your password, and that's pretty much it. 
So your privacy settings for your device, you can keep all of these on or all of this off. This is based on your preference completely. Uh, now, if you turn this off, it doesn't really help because uh, a lot of ads, for example, are just going to appear no matter what. And turning this on just personalizes the ad. So you can turn these off uh, so that maybe you're not being tracked. But if you are so privacy conscious, you probably wouldn't be on Windows. So it doesn't really matter. Turn this off, turn this on. It's completely up to you and your choice. Click on next. So for some of you, you might have seen that your resolution fixes automatically. In my case, it's still on 768p, which means that the uh, display driver hasn't been downloaded yet. But the good thing right now is we are basically done with setting up Windows 11 on our computer. And this is going to take some time. So I'll be back when this is done. So we are almost there. And there it is. We have Windows 11 installed. Final thing we can do is just right click on the Windows icon here, come to our disk management and now create our D drive. So currently you can see that if I go to this PC, uh, we have uh, our C drive, uh, our USB is still plugged in, our Windows uh, media, installation media. So if I remove it, that's gone. Uh, now what I can do is just create my D drive here. So I can right click new simple volume and next use all of this D drive. Let me see if you can see this D drive, go ahead and click on next. Uh, you can choose to name this or not name this and click on next, finish, that's it. So now if we open uh, this PC, we basically have our C drive, D drive, C drive on SSD, D drive on hard disk. And that's pretty much it. This is how we install Windows 11, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen the PC build video, again, link will be in the description. And this is pretty much it. This is how we install Windows 11. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.